Fishy. Today we are going to be building the Atlantic Coastline number 501. This is actually a locomotive that I had no idea existed until like a few months ago, but I'm a really big fan of these like EMD, EMC, like F7 styled locomotives, I guess, if you want to group them into that. I, I know that this one isn't an F7 technically. I believe it's an E3 or whatever. E6 or E3, but it's a pretty cool looking locomotive, and it's purple, um, which is kind of the sole reason I am doing this video, but it's a pretty cool looking, looking locomotive, in my opinion. Um, building locomotives that have a sloped nose are pretty difficult for a game, like Minecraft, where it's all just blocks. But I was able to settle on a design um, that I liked. Um, so let's go ahead and go on over to the viewer's coach, which I will be adding someone very special today. Um, I will be adding AC, who is no other than my girlfriend. She was the one who requested me to build a purple train today. Um, she doesn't really know um, anything about this particular locomotive. Um, in fact, I picked it out for her. All she wanted was a purple train. So, fortunately, the Atlantic Coastline has that. And it's actually a really cool locomotive. And I think um, it is the sole survivor. Um, and it pulled the uh, champion, I think it was called. So that's a pretty cool name. Anyway, I'm adding her to the viewer's coach. Um, today. So, AC, I know you're going to be watching this, and I hope you enjoy. I know you've been waiting a few months for this, but anyway, let's get started. So, these are the blocks we're going to start out with. Um, super simple stuff. Um, as per usual, um, you can use whatever blocks you want, something similar. I know I'm using a texture pack. Blackstone will work, cobblestone will work, but I will be using granite. Um, it has a cool texture, so black stone or anything gray, cobblestone will work just fine. But let's go ahead and get started with the front phalanx here. Um, we're going to place some stairs across like this, and then two stairs on the end. Make sure that they are curved. And we're going to place our piston in the middle. We're going to stack two slabs on the side like this, and then... We will come over here, not like that, place two slabs here on either side, and then one more on top. There's kind of the front plow, I suppose, if you want to call it that. And I think we will um, get the wheels placed here, so take gray concrete, and we're going to place them like this. We have three on each side, two by twos like this, and then the fuel tank is going to be seven blocks long, just to make sure that's seven, like this, and then we'll bring that up one more, fill this in. And then we'll add our second set of wheels, just like the front set, two by two, set of six. So you should have something that looks like this to start. It's a pretty big, lo pretty big locomotive. All right, let's go ahead and add the truck. So we're gonna place some slabs in here, connecting the wheels like this. And then leave a space in between. Like this. Same with the back set. Slabs in between. Leave a space in the middle for the wall piece that we'll put in the middle for the brakes. Or just extra detail. I don't really know what these are the equivalent to, but I just like the, the extra detail down here. Something like that. Alright, 
So now that we have the wheels connected, we're going to kind of connect the whole thing. So take your slab, we'll come up front, and we'll connect it all like this. Just kind of run it down, and we're going to want to stop right here. Same with the other side. Bring it all the way down. All right. And now we are going to fill all this empty space in up top with the slabs. Oops. Just want to fill in both sides like this. And then once we get all of this done, we can start actually building the body. All right. And then for the rear here, we are going to place the slabs to kind of finish it up back here. And then we are going to bring it down with two slabs, if I can make this work, like that. So we want a, two slabs here to make a block and then one slab under it. And then we will place a row of stairs across like this. So um, now, Take your slab, place two on either side like this, and then your coupler, which is the piston. All right. So we should have the, I guess you could call it underbody, or the base of the locomotive built. So now the fun part. We are going to start building the purple body um, of this thing. So. I actually messed up building my reference, and I'm glad I caught my mistake. So I'm not going to try and make the same mistake this time. Um, so what we're going to start off with doing is getting your purple block and placing it on either side of the piston like this, and then placing a light gray, light gray wool, light gray concrete um, in the center like this. And what we're going to do is we're just pretty much going to run purple all the way down the side here, just real quick. And I actually forgot a step, so I will do that here in a second. But just run purple all the way down. Like this. So, real quick, I, I forgot to do this, but down here on the base, um, right here, where the fuel tank begins and ends, um, we're going to place a stair upside down like this on both sides. And then fill that in with slabs. It's a tiny detail that I forgot. Excuse me. All right, place a block here, here, and then fill it in, just like that. All right, let's get back to the body. We are going to skip a block, skip another block. So skip two blocks, and then place your purple block, and we're going to run this all the way down, like that. Same on this side. Now take your gray block, and we are going to place a row here, and then come up one. Leave this space for our lamp later on, and then you're going to place a gray block on the outside like this. So we kind of want this almost like V, U shape up front like this. That'll have the um, illusion of the, the slanted front end of these. Um, diesel locomotives. And then, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring the purple up like this for now. And then place two on either side like this. So our both of our lamps are going to set on these blocks right here. Alright. Now what we're going to do is take your gray block and we're going to place it right here. So we should have um, pretty much their diagonal here and then just run it all the way down. Do that on this side as well. Just run it down. Okay, so this is where I messed up on that one. So we're not gonna make the same mistake here. Make sure you leave this block empty, go back one, and then place your glass. When I was building the, uh, the reference earlier, I pushed it up one too far, so it looked a little goofy but I caught myself. So then we're going to place two separating and then your glass in the middle. We're going to place two right here, 
and then your glass, and then break this one for your door. We'll add that later on, and then place a purple block on the side of that. So you should have something that looks like this. We're going to start building the cab here. Then we'll place a purple block in the middle, and then we will fill this little space in like this for now. Let's finish the rest of the body here. So, after your purple block, we are going to place three gray concrete. And then we're going to alternate this pattern. So, three gray, four purple. Three gray, four purple. And then three gray again. And then if you've done it right, you should have two purple blocks at the end here. So two purple, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you should have this alternating pattern here. And then those are the vents. We'll come back here. I forgot my black concrete. And we're going to cap this off. Like that. So that'll be the back of the locomotive. And then let's go ahead and just kind of fill in all of this space here with our black concrete for the cab. So we'll have the floor. And then I always do just like one far back, well, one block, and then the wall. And of course, you can style the, the cab any way you want. Um, I'm just going to place blocks like that and then two stairs here. Actually, let's do two stairs right here. So you can, you can style this any way you want. Um, I'm fairly bare bones about um, the way I style my cabs. So now, let's add a roof because it looks a little goofy without it. Um, so we're going to take our slabs and we're pretty much going to um, add a layer of just slab all the way across. So I'm going to run it all the way back and around. Like this, and then we'll fill it in. Just like that. Super, super easy. And then we've got a few little details we're going to put up here. So one block, we're going to place two like this in a row, and then two right here. And then on your right side, so the engineer side, um, we are going to place, let's see here. So where this vent ends, this first vent ends, we're going to place two right here skip two blocks and then in the middle of this vent we're going to place two again and then back here we're going to place two here and then um, one here so it kind of makes a triangle here we go just a little more detail on the roof now let it grab a door and some ladders we're going to place a door on either side of the cab. And then we are going to place a door on the side of the engine right here. Um, right before the upside down staircase and right before the, the middle vent. We're going to place a door. Just like so. And then we're going to look, we're going to add like the peepholes. Little glass or... What do they call portholes? I think. I don't know what you call those. I'm going to place one here. So two blocks away from the door on the left or right side, depending on where you're at. But here. And then same deal. Two blocks away on the other side of the door. I'm going to break through right here. Oops. And then where's the other one? four blocks away. So four blocks from the back 
we're going to place one more. And that's four blocks away from the other one. Got to go fix my accident. There we go. All right. We're going to come to the back of the locomotive here. We're going to start adding our, our finer details. So on the left side, we're going to have a ladder going up. Middle, we'll place our door. And then grab a redstone torch. I'm going to place it right up here, top right corner. Just like that. All right. Let's head back up front. And then you can pretty much grab whatever light source you want. I am going to be using glowstone and a beacon. Um, I'm going to place the glowstone down here and then the beacon up here. So the beacon kind of looks like the, um, the lamp. It's kind of more realistic looking. I don't know. It just kind of looks like the lamp um, that the real locomotive has. Um, I'm going to take some purple carpet. And we're going to cover up just the glowstone on the bottom. And then we're going to cover the entire top part of the nose here, including the beacon. Mm, excuse me. All right. I'm going to grab our sign and some purple dye. We don't need our lights anymore. And our ladder. And we are almost done here. All right, so we need to have the ladder on the doors here to get into the cab. And then we will place our signs down here. So we're going to have two signs um, right here. So we're going to have the and then champ. Oops. Oh, man, if I could type. Champion. There we go. That's a cool locomotive name. And then we're going to have 501 as the road number. 501. And then the... Oops. Not, not that. The... Oops. I'm just messing up. Champion. Bingo. All right, and that should be about it. This is a pretty cool looking locomotive. I really do like the way these look. Um, and I think you can dress these up in any different paint scheme you want. It doesn't have to be um, the Atlantic coastline. Um, and I just forgot a detail, but on the front, we're also gonna have a sign. So we're gonna have Atlantic, Atlantic, Coast line. And then we're going to dye that purple. Now we're done. All right, and that should be about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun locomotive to build, and it was a great addition to my ever growing collection of Minecraft trains. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, please request a locomotive in the comments that you'd like to see me build. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.